thousands of years ago, when the world was still just recently being reborn, from being submerged within Severus Ocean, the one that came and imprisoned the abyss. From that abyss, many came, but Ken did not come from the abyss, Ken did not come from the oceans, for she made her way straight from the heavens herself. As she did all that she needed, all that was required of her. Akvar, the one that extended his sunlight so that her ships with her people could ride upon his sunlight from whatever place she came and gave a beacon of light for she was needed in this world and she answered the call her and all of her people. The high elves from far away in the stars. Those that adorn the constellations with ponder skin themselves. They came with all of their might. And Kin, leading all of them, struck down from the skies onto this earth. features, her ears said to pierce the skies, her purplish blue skin to shine with an ever so faintly glimmer of constellations from the stars themselves, her long flowing coat behind her as she drew her bow and began the hunt. One by one. The primordial dragons fell. Some say she did it with the help of her people, or some that existed at the time. But some believe that she did it on her own. This, this was the moment when she made her mark in history. When she liberated this planet from the tyrannical rule of the primordial dragons, those that some believed to be impossible to defeat, those that possessed powers way beyond conceivable by mortals. She fell every single one of them. And with that strength that she gathered one by one, gaining the very blessing from every deity upon this earth, she became the first known ruler of an established continent of Harudon within Otho. But it is not where she stopped. As the queen only knew how to hunt. And so she did. Beast after beast. No simple creature stood upon the sight of Kim. Her people behind her proud for of her accomplishments as they started venerating her themselves as their deity, their goddess, the one to tame the flames, and the one to liberate Otha. This is 
is when the queen earned her name, earned her title, and earned her place amongst the gods.